Hi, welcome back to SMU Gaming Channel. Two star battle hunter. I must win first round for sure. Mobile Smash is good option here. Um, I have Brownie Heroes here. I'm confused which view to play. I think we should wait for the next RNG and decide to play Brownie on Assassin. Let's stop to level 4 to keep the winning streak. I want to reroll here. Heaven's Hammer is a good item. It is arm target for 3 seconds and it's pretty good. I think it might play Brew Brownie instead of Dragon Brownie, so I buy Spirit Breaker. It's round 6 and I still don't hit 2 star cast knight, so I would play knight this game. There is a player builds knight, so I won't play brownie. I always think a knight can help the brownie. So I play assassin in this game and I use shaman alliance to keep the winning streak. I won't play Shaman, so I don't up nature profit with 2 stars. I use that gold to buy assassin heroes instead.
I want to find a storehouse clock. Paladin sword is a good option. Your enemies are my enemies. I should not use shaman alliance anymore. The RNG keep provides shaman heroes, but instead I need assassin heroes. Without Shaman Alliance, I keep losing, but it's worth. I always choose Troll for Assassin's Team. I still use Juggernaut to activate Sawman in the lines. I think 2 star Bouncy Hunter is better than 1 star Chippenhawk, so let's just swap. Private hat. Equipped hero is a summon. I don't need Chuck now to activate Stormin anymore. I will sell him and buy the alchemist to activate Rogue Alliance. Gonna Alp slot soon. Maybe I just have a round next round. No more playing around. Okay, let's have a go. I really like this. And yes, I'm getting lucky. I have three star spicy hunter here.
I hope you will subscribe so you will never miss any videos. Nothing good here. School best show is the best option. Let's check the top one, he's building warrior troll, but this build is not really strong at late game, I think. Let's see. I think I'm up to 3 stars Alchemist instead of using Viber to activate Poison and Alliance. Luckily, with 3 stars effect of Bouncy Hunter, I have many goals when to kill the enemies. Four gold bonus from Bounty, nice. Oh, even better. Three stars kind of messed in here. Moisture is a good tier 4 item for assassin team. First, we break their bodies, then we destroy their spirits. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Three stars, Ember Spirit? I'm pretty sure I win this game. I think Moonshark is good for three stars, Ember Spirit. Guys, look at the damage dealt by Amber. Nearly 20k damage. Oh my god. He's so strong. Hey, welcome to the team, 3 stars Alchemist.
I want to reroll. As it's in the Caden, so I think Radiance is the best option here. I have my voice spirit because I plan to play Voice Alliance later. And here we have 3 star Stark, the strongest Tyson hero in my opinion. I don't think I have enough gold to up to level 9 to have Void Alliance, so it's a Void Spirit. And finally, I got her, 3 stars for the pen. Let's up to level 8 and use Red Master to activate Poison in the lines. I think Satanic is a bit too fine item for 3 star Slark. I, I use Kulka to have AoE stun. I will fight for you. They've come for us. As I told you guys, war review is not the problem with Assassin at the late game. Nice, first voice here. I have 7 Assassin heroes now. Maybe this is the last round, so I spent all gold self to level 9, and I use Snapfire to activate Dragon Alliance. Then I won. So they got Ember, I haven't lost a single round. And if you have any questions about this build, please comment below. And if you like this video, you can like, share and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching my video. I see you guys.